Hello, friends. How are you? It's Miss Stacy from the Milan Berlin Library. I have missed seeing you all so much at the library. In fact, I'm going to read you a story today that you can watch at home with your mom and your dad. Friends, I'm so excited to do this. You know what? Let's start with our hello song. Are you guys ready? Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Hi, guys. I am super excited about the story I get to read to you today. It's a Pete the Cat story, and I love Pete the Cat stories. They are so good. In fact, my friend Pete is here with me today. Here he is. Pete. You guys will remember seeing him at the library. Oh, what's Pete wearing? Oh, they look like his big magic blue sunglasses. They look really neat. I wonder if he'd let me wear them. I'm going to ask. Hey, Pete, can I wear your sunglasses? He said yes. He's so nice. These are so cool. Wow. Guys, everything looks so different with these glasses on. The sun is shining. Everything is so bright. These glasses have me feeling all right. Thank you, Pete. That was nice of you. Okay. I think he's ready to hear this story. And so am I. Today, we're reading Pete the Cat and His Magic Sunglasses. This book is written by Kimberly and James Dean. Let's start. Pete the Cat did not feel happy. Pete had never, ever, ever, ever been grumpy before. But Pete had the blue cat blues. Then, if things were not bad enough, along came Grumpy Toad. Grumpy Toad, Toad was never happy. He always wore a frown. But Grumpy Toad was not grumpy today. He said, these cool blue magic sunglasses make my blues go away. They help you see things in a whole new way. Pete put on the cool blue magic sunglasses and he looked all around. Right on, the birds are singing. The sky is bright. The sun is shining. I'm feeling all right. Pete thanked Grumpy Toad for the cool blue magic sunglasses. And he went on his way. And soon he saw Squirrel. Squirrel did not look happy. Pete said, what's wrong, Squirrel? I'm so mad. Nothing is going my way. I only found one acorn today. Pete said, try these cool blue magic sunglasses. They help you see things in a whole new way. Squirrel put on the cool blue magic sunglasses and he looked all around. Awesome, the birds are singing. The sky is bright, the sun is shining, and I'm feeling all right. Pete said goodbye to Squirrel and continued on his way. Soon he saw his friend Turtle. Turtle did not look happy. Pete said, what's wrong, Turtle? I'm so frustrated. Nothing is going my way. I'm all upside down today. 
<laughs> he really is upside down. Pete said, try these cool blue magic sunglasses. They help you see things in a whole new way. Far out, the birds are singing, the sky is bright, the sun is shining, and I'm feeling all right. Pete kept rolling along until he saw his friend Alligator. Alligator did not look happy. What's wrong, Alligator? Pete asked. I'm so sad. Nothing is going my way. No one wants to play with me today. That is sad, Alligator. Pete said, try these cool blue magic sunglasses. They help you see things in a whole new way. Alligator put on the cool blue magic sunglasses and he looked all around. Rockin'! The birds are singing, the sky is bright, the sun is shining, and I'm feeling all right. Pete was rolling along, feeling all right, when suddenly he fell back. The cool blue magic sunglasses went crack. Uh-oh, Pete didn't know what to do without the sunglasses. Just then, Pete looked up in the tree. Wise old owl said, Pete, you don't need magic sunglasses to see things in a whole new way. Just remember to look for the good in every day. The end. I love that story. I like how Pete learned how to look for the good in every day. And he didn't end up needing those sunglasses to do that. I hope you all can look for the good in every day, just like Pete. We can practice using our magic sunglasses too. You guys ready? Ready? Let's put our sunglasses on like this. Oh, awesome. Everything looks great. You guys ready? Let's do it again. The sun is shining. The birds are singing. And I'm feeling all right. Pretty cool, huh? Friends, you know what? That book reminded me of a song, a song about the sun. And I think we should make a sun so we can have it when we sing our song. Maybe you can make one at home with me. All you need is a yellow piece of paper and, oh, something that is, what shape is this? A circle, right, good job. So I just traced this circle on my paper. Easy peasy. There you go. Guys, ask mom and dad to help you cut out your circle. I love making crafts with you guys. I really miss it. This is a fun one. After we cut out our circle, Let's put a fun face on our son, make him really happy. Okay, I'm ready. I'm gonna give him two eyes and a huge smile. There he is. <laughs> I hope you guys cut out your son and you're ready to sing our song. Mr. Chase is gonna sing it for me. Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind that tree. These little children are asking you to please come out so we can play with you. Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, Please shine down on me. I love that song. It makes me feel so happy. 
I hope we get to go out and feel the sun on us soon. <laughs> Guys, I had such a fun time reading to you today. Although I cannot wait to see you in person again. It will be so much fun when we can see each other all again at the library. I hope you guys can remember to put on your magic sunglasses like we learned in our story and see things in a whole new way when you're mad or frustrated or just grumpy. Sometimes we all need that. It was so good to read to you all today, but I think it's time to say goodbye. Are you guys ready? Let's say the goodbye song. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Bye, friends. Till I see you again. <laughs>